hello everyone welcome to our finals uh, this will be your final lecture for before you have your finals exam so our focus uh, for finals would would be the different personalities of a salesman so are you that kind of person who has the ability to um you know taking no answer in a right manner instead of getting discouraged so if you know the tactics of talking to people and you are confident you are persuasive and you know how to um you know do business then you are ready to become a star salesman so having a good personality is actually an advantage uh, to salesmen as it actually creates an impression even before you strike up a conversation with uh, your customer so you demonstrate the product in a way that would extract the interest of your customers in addition to that um you know smile okay good smile on your face a healthy communication and self-confidence are all that you need to become a salesman or a star salesman so let's try to take a look at the difference uh, different sorry requirements of a successful salesman so number one you need to be eligible okay so the job does not demand degrees for a certain cut of percentage so you do not need to get a degree to become a salesperson however it's also imperative or it's very uh, good if you actually have a degree in business so a salesman is just um sabi niya dito is just required to know good english oh uh, but we are in the philippines it's good to know your English. It's good to be proficient in English. And it's also very good to know how to communicate uh, to your prospects or to your customers. So you may not be very good in English if your customers are uh, Filipinos, but you need to be a good communicator. However, it's also very, very good to know good English. Okay so uh, a welcoming personality perseverance good convincing power and knowledge about the product uh, products to be sold are all that one requires to become a successful salesman it's imperative that you know your product okay so another is that um perhaps you can have short degree okay uh, or maybe yeah a, a diploma is good if you want to become a successful salesman or if not you can take uh, short courses okay uh, certificate yeah it would be your edge that you can add to your resume and your profile so you must have a thorough knowledge about what you're selling this is very very important because when you're selling something and you do not know how to explain explain that product your customers might have a second thought about your product so you need to be an expert of your product and you will prove to be a star salesman um the key here is of course to have patience patience is a key word for an ambitious salesman okay next is that you should also know your roles and responsibilities as a salesman so a salesman okay should be able to handle the, their territory okay very well so if you work in a company there would be different salespeople, and perhaps you will be given each of you will be given your own territory so as a salesman it's your responsibility to handle your territory well so every salesman is assigned a specific territory and he should contact or visit current customers within his territory and introduce new ones okay it says here also that a salesman is also required to make presentations to each customer before completing the sale he may use that's why it's very important that you have your visual aids your catalogs okay your brochure the price lists 
okay, that you are selling so that it's easier for you to convey your message. Okay, another is that you should also be well versed in using PowerPoint, okay, or other presentation software. So understanding the requirements of the customer in depth or in depth is the main responsibility of a salesman and their career path or paths depend upon uh, how efficiently you perform your role as a salesperson okay. all right now let's take a look at the different personalities of a salesperson or your so-called sales personality but first when we speak of personality what is personality in general okay so when we say personality it comes from the greek term persona Diba? Okay, what is your persona? Yan. So, it comes from a Greek term, persona. So, personality basically refers to an individual or individual differences in characteristic uh, pattern, uh, patterns of thinking, feeling, and of course, behaving. So, personality is basically an organized pattern of behaviors attitudes okay that makes a human being distinctive it it is what makes you different from the others that is your personality basically when you say personality it does not only include your characteristics it's actually it says here the sum total of your physical mental emotional attitudes okay values interests and motivational factors so it's formed by the ongoing interaction of temperament when you say temperament this is basically a natural disposition of a person it is what is inborn yeah a combination of mental and emotional traits okay uh character okay when you say character this is an individual's uh, set of emotional cognitive and behavioral patterns learned and accumulated over time so that is your character and of course interaction with the environment so when we speak of personality it is actually an ongoing process because uh, as long as we are still living and breathing we always learn from our environment we learn from our experiences we learn from our mistakes we learn from other people okay that would actually help us shape our personality sometimes maybe it's um negative but hopefully okay uh we become matured and then we change our personality uh to become better all right all right so uh when we speak of personality also it refers to individual differences in characteristic patterns of thinking feeling and behaving okay so now what is sales personality so we describe what personality is now let's take a look at sales personality so when we speak of your sales personality this is basically the sum total of all salesman's physical emotional psychological social and intellectual traits in other words uh, this is your pepsi okay it's needed to obtain a favorable response from prospect and customers all right uh, in short uh, these are needed for you to become an effective salesman okay so if you possess excellent uh, pepsi you can face every kind of prospect um, bravely what else you understand what your prospect may feel okay and then you understand that they have similar vibra vib 
vibration sorry thus possibly lead to a sales transaction and you can let the prospect feel at ease while listening to sales presentation okay you are friendly with the prospect and you are able to uh, get sympathy and of course attention right next let's take a look at your pepsi so the first P in your Pepsi is your physical traits. So what is or why is body image important? Do you think body image is important for the others? They might say, oh, character is more important than uh, the physical appearance. But hey, when somebody looks at you, they will not see your character right away, diba? Right? They will see first your physical appearance. Are you well uh dressed are you presentable did you comb your hair did you wash your face diba? that's the thing or those are the things that uh, they will look at when they first see you so body image of a person's uh sorry when we speak of body Im body image this is a person's opinions thoughts and feelings about his or her own body and physical appearance you know you can influence actually the uh perception of other people regarding your uh, body image so if you have positive body image it means that you feel satisfied with the way you look you appreciate your body okay for its capabilities and accepting your imperfections you know what there are times we're in when you look at um someone even if that person does not have a perfect shape <laughs> diba? uh, they, they still feel confident about themselves because you know they accept their imperfections and they they feel confident about themselves um they are comfortable with their uh, skin diba so body image is part of someone's total image so as a salesperson you need to have a positive body image why because confidence is very important in any endeavor that you you will take in the future you might not become a professional salesman or salesperson but in any endeavor that you will take in the future you need to have positive body image but i i'm not uh, saying also that uh you you do not care about how you look, diba? You have to stay healthy, diba? Even if you are chubby, but as long as you are healthy, okay, you're not sickly, then feel good about yourself, okay? But I'm not saying also that uh, you do not strive to look good. Of course naman, you also try to strive to look good for yourself. All right, so so what are the physical traits required of a salesman number one is that okay take care of your physical appearance this is actually it says here um a primary consideration in building a sales personality so you have to be what neat from head down to your feet so you have to be neat brush your teeth um what else um trim your nails okay you wash your face you wash your hair you comb your hair etc another consideration that you have to bear in mind is that a salesman has to be properly groomed okay you have to wear clean and well-pressed clothes if you want to become a su successful uh, salesperson or maybe a businessman or whatever in endeavor that you will be undertaking in the future okay wearing appropriate clothes well-pressed clothes is a must so this is very very important because people would respect uh, other people who actually look good um, you know, in the business world, sabi nga nila, if you want to be successful, you have to look successful. So, ito na yung sinasabi nilang power dressing. Okay. So, you have to look 
Good. So these are some of the no-nos that you will be wearing if you want to become successful. Of course, do not show too much skin. Okay. So if you want to be respected, you have to look respectful. Okay. So this is a big no-no. So, yan. Okay. So, meron nga tayong sinasabing business suit. Okay. Um, so, another is that um, if you want, okay, to look good, this is very, very important. You have to, di ba, look nice. You trim your hair for the guys. You shave, okay, so that you will look clean. You will feel confident also if you look clean and neat. Okay, you wear formal wear. Okay, uh, especially if you are in a business, if you are in a negotiation um, situation, you have to feel confident. You wear form formal uh, dress or formal clothes. Okay, and then it's also very, very important for you to have correct body posture. Okay, for ladies, um, it's also very important that uh, you have clean and tidy hair, simple, clean and tidy okay um what else uh you wear your shirts or blouse or in other words a business attire okay um ano pa ba yung sabi niya dito in terms of accessories di ba? rule of thumb tatlo ang accessories di ba? if you are wearing earrings and then ring and then uh, what else um your what's this um watch then do not wear uh, bangles, okay? Do not wear that. Um, yun. Rule of thumb, tatlo is the best. You wear business suit, okay? There. Uh, in terms of your um, shoes, sabi nga nila dito, you wear something that would make you feel confident. Well, if you wear high heels and it makes you feel very, very confident, then so be it. Okay, but make sure that you are comfortable with what you are wearing. Okay, all right, next. Uh, yeah, we mentioned it earlier na. So, for guys, so sabi ko nga, trimmed hair, clean shaved, okay? You also need to smile. Sabi nga nila, smile or is a curve that sets everything straight. Okay, all right, feel confident. You should have a firm handshake okay what else correct body posture uh when you dress i mean when you wear your business uh suit or business attire make sure that the fit is very good okay hindi yung parang sasabog na yung uh butones ng shirt mo kasi masyado ng malaki ang chan mo Okay, kung malaki ang chan, edi eh magsuot ng medyo malaki-laki ng konti na kaya niyang itago yon. Pero wag naman masyadong malaki na it will look very, um, what's this? Baduy. Yan. Okay. Something that should fit you. Alright. Um, you know, uh, having a correct posture is also very, very imperative or very important. So, you will never see, sabi nga nila, a president who will walk na naka, uh, what's this, naka hunch. Okay? Diba? When they walk, they, they walk with confidence, they walk tall, they think tall, they walk in proper posture. Why? Kasi nga, it would, uh, what's this, show lack of confidence pag nakahukot ka. All right, another is that um, one another physical trait required of a salesman is to be friendly. Ayan. Um, you know, even how you look at the person, you have to, of course, um, you know, Gaze appropriately, sabi nga nila. So, meron tayong business gaze. Yan. Um, you look at the forehead, the eyes. Okay, yun lang yung business gaze. Pag social gaze, when you say kasi social gaze, because perhaps uh, friend mo na siya, so pwedeng from the eyes, 
to the nose, to the lips. Okay, please do not look at your customers with intimate gaze. Okay, so anong intimate gaze? From the eyes to the lips and then below the chin. Yun, yun yung sinasabi nating intimate gaze. So, you can look at your customers using your business gaze. If they are your friends already, maybe social gaze, but never intimate gaze. Okay, why? Because there are some customers who will not feel comfortable about it. Unless, of course, if you really already have an intimate relationship, then so be it. Okay, so you have to be friendly. Next is having a good manner. And of course, proper etiquette is also a must um, for a salesman. So we are not European. We do not curtsy, but we have also our proper etiquette. Yeah? We practice good manners. Being respectful, not being rude, okay, is a universal good manner. So we have to practice that. Uh, proper etiquette, when we speak of proper etiquette, kasi it depends on the culture you are in. Diba? So, yun. But, um, universally, we have good manners, being respectful, uh, being polite, okay, is uh, universally acceptable. Okay. Um, what else? Of course, if you are a salesperson, you have to watch your facial expression, including your body movement. Why? Because you might antagonize your prospect. So, if you cross your hands, uh, yon, you might, the, your prospects might feel that you are, what, very defensive. What else? If you hunch, you... What's this? Para kang, ano ba to? Nagka-clump, ganon. Your prospect might think that you are not confident. Okay? Uh, if you also probably have a body language na para kang arrogant, okay, uh, your prospect might be turned off. Diba? Ano ba yung arrogant? Pag umupo ka, nakataas pa yung paa mo, Siyempre, anong iisipin ng prospect mo? Wala kang respeto. Parang something like that. Okay? Next is, your voice is very important as well. Okay? And the fluency of your speech. Um, sometimes, you know, in the business world, why is it that men are more uh, respected or they are, they are more believe, believable sorry, than women? Kasi nga, for guys, they have this low voice. Yung tone kasi nila mababa. For ladies kasi, kung minsan, masyado tayong high pitch. And according to studies, uh, mas believable yung low ang tone ng voice niya. So, ladies, if you are an, with, uh, if you are in an argument with your boyfriends or boyfriend, Okay, if you want them to really listen to you, babaan mo ang boses mo. <laughs> Wag masyadong high pitch, okay? So, a good voice, it says here, is quite essential for a salesman. It must be clear, it must be pleasant, and well modulated, okay? So, as to hold the attention of the prospect. Uh, have you ever experienced or encountered a person who talks na parang masyadong nakakairita yung voice? There are people who are like that. Kasi nga, hindi modulated yung voice nila. So, a salesman should be a fluent speaker. Yan. Fluent and forceful, uh, forceful speech are necessary if the salesman is to sell his point of view and convince the customers and the prospects. So, powerful speech always inspires okay, the listener. So, remember that. Okay, so now let's take a look at the indicators of negative self-image. So, uh, these are the things that you should be avoiding if you want to become a successful businessman or salesperson. So, you should not be tense and anxious 
gloomy and unhappy countenance. Okay. You should not be hesitant to give eye contact, but not to the point naman na mag mag magiging creepy yung pagtingin mo, di ba? Okay, what else? You keep physical distance. There are people who do not like to be very, very near somebody. So, you keep your uh, distance din naman. Um, you need to avoid what? Weak and wilted handshakes, sloppy and shabby appearance. Uh, sloppy, it's like para ko hinahabol ng plancha kasi nga hindi na plancha yung damit mo. What else? Shabby, kasi yung mga curves mo na here and there, kitang kita sa damit mo. Kasi masyadong fitted sa yo di ba parang ganoon what else a uh, weak okay remember this ha a soft and uncertain voice if you have a weak soft and uncertain voice it appears that you are not confident at all okay there are also psychological signs of negative self image you are always sick uh you are timid you are shy you have the tendency to withdraw or isolate yourself what else you always seek attention you are too pleasing uh meaning to say uh you are being too pleasing meaning to say yung parang you bend over backwards para lang ma-please mo yung ibang tao. Ginagawa mo yung hindi mo gusto dahil nga ayaw mong masaktan yung ibang tao. Pini-please mo sila ng sobra-sobra to the point na nawawalan ka na ng self-respect. Okay, what else? You try to monopolize conversation. Yan. Parang gusto mo ikaw lang yung center of attention. And then you are a compulsive talker. Uh, dada ka lang ng dada. Hindi mo binibigyan ng chance yung kausap mo na magsalita. Okay? So, these are the negative indicators of negative self-image. Okay. Next in your Pepsi is your emotional traits. So, emotions, of course, would basically refer to an intense mental state that arises subjectively rather than through conscious effort and is often accompanied by physiological changes. So, basically, our emotion is subjective. We can actually control our emotion. Pag galit ka, di ba? Since subjective siya, ibig sabihin, may control ka sa galit mo. Kaya mo actually na i-control yung galit mo na yan na hindi siya sasabog at magka-create ng uh, gulo or away. Diba? So, pag galit ka at hindi mo na-control, it's accompanied, it says here, accompanied by physiological changes. Ano mangyayari? Galit ka, biglang tumaas yung poses mo. Ano pa? Galit ka, bigla kang nanuntok. Yan, physiological changes. So, emotions uh, uh, are outward expressions or display of mood or feeling states. So, yan. Pag masaya ka, syempre, ano mangyayari? Lagi kang nakangiti. Pag malungkot ka, there's the possibility, iiyak ka. So, yan. Diba? Outward expression of your mood or your feelings. Okay. So, uh, as a fish, uh, I mean, as a business person in the future and as a successful business person in the future, you need to have your so-called EQ or your emotional quotient, otherwise known as your emotional intelligence. So, what is this? This is your ability to identify your own and other people's emotions accurately express your emotions clearly and regulate emotions in yourself and of course others so if you have emotional intelligence okay you can feel what other people um are feeling you can you know parang you can uh, what's this put your shoes into theirs diba? and you can have what um 
a good relationship with others, di ba? So, emotional intelligence is basically uh, the ability to perceive, appraise, express, and express emotions accurately. Okay. So, if you have emotional quotient, even if you are so, uh, what's this, um, down siguro, you do not just cry in public. There is a proper avenue for that. Uh, what else? Um, appropriately to use emotions to facilitate thinking, to understand and analyze emotions, to use emotional knowledge effectively, and of course, to regulate one's emotions to promote uh, both emotional and intellectual growth. And Okay, so that is emotional intelligence, which is supposed to be possessed by a successful salesperson. So if you have emotional intelligence, you are able to what? Control yourself. You have even temperament. Hindi ka basta-basta na lang nagagalit, basta-basta na lang nagbe-breakdown, something like that. When you talk, you are not tactless, but rather, you have the ability to say something that will not offend others. So, you are also optimistic. Okay, you are not somebody who is always negative about the future. And another is that you are enthusiastic. Yan. Masayahin ka. Alright, next in your Pepsi is your physiological trait. So, when we speak of your physiological trait, we're talking about the characteristic or distinguishing characteristic feature or quality of a person. So, in psychological terms, it refers to unique combination of personality traits or characteristics we, po uh, we each possess that defined us or define us as individuals. Okay. So, these are the 10 most important uh, personality traits for a successful uh, business person or uh, salesperson. Okay. So, you need to check your attitude. You need to have the capacity to stay optimistic and positive. Okay. What else? You have to be enthusiastic. Okay, so when we say enthusiasm, this is uh, your ability to be what? Intense and eager to show interest in a subject or maybe a cause. So it is an energy that often inspires others. What else? You have to be ethical. Okay, you live by a code of sound moral principles. What else? You have to be goal focused. You have to have the ability, okay, or the clarity on the objectives that you strive for in your personal and professional life. Uh, and it's also imperative that you are a good listener. Okay, so you have the capacity to suspend your own agenda and deliberately and empathically allow others to be heard. There are times kasi when you're talking to somebody or someone, instead of listening, iniisip mo na kung ano yung next nasasabihin mo. So, you really have to listen. What else? This is also important. Uh, network, sabi niya dito. You need to what? Develop uh, interconnected positive relationship. And persistence is also one of uh, the most important personality traits of a uh, salesperson or a business person. You have to have the ability to endure, okay, uh, adversities. Because in life, whether we like it or not, we always face, um, yeah, different adversities. So... Sometimes it's very difficult, but we have to face adversities. We have to endure adversities. So it is a patient and relenting effort to achieve uh, something despite of those difficulties that we face. Okay, and then another is self-awareness, understanding and knowledgeable, uh, knowledge of who you are, including your skills, your values, your interests, uh, behaviors, and of course, character. 
And then another is self-confidence or you have to be self-confident. So firm belief in your abilities. You need to believe yourself. Okay? Seek professional help if this is an area of weakness. Sometimes our confidence might be influenced by how we were raised. You know, if uh, during your childhood, you were always uh, teased, sinasabihan ka ng pangit ka, sinasabihan ka na, um, what else, hindi ka maganda, parehong parin yun pala. Uh, pangu ang ilong mo, ayan, paglaki mo, syempre may konting insecurities dahil sa mga ganon. Pero, okay, you have to overcome those insecurities. Okay? Think that you are beautiful. Think that you are handsome. And indeed, you will be beautiful or handsome. So, believe in your abilities. If talagang weakness mo yon, perhaps you can seek professional help. Okay? Or you... Ano ba tayo yung sabi nila? Positive reinforcement? Di ba? Fill your thoughts with uh, positive thoughts, positive thinking. Okay? Instead na sasabihin ng isip mo na, ay, hindi ka maganda, hindi mo kaya yan. Uh, palitan mo siya ng something na positive. Sabihin mo na, kaya mo. Kaya ko to. Maganda ako. Ganon. <laughs> And it will really come to pass. Okay? Another is, of course, self-discipline. So, this is very, very important. Um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect in this area because sometimes, you know, um, there are impulses na hindi natin kaya i-control, pero, okay, kaya naman nating aralin. Yan. Kasi, importante talaga na we have to have the ability to control and restrain our impulses. Okay, so we have to have the energy to be focused and channeled toward uh, our goal or ambitions. Okay, so these are the psychological traits required of a salesman. Courtesy, humility, cheerfulness, dependability, initiative, uh, determination to succeed, courage, self-confidence, persistence, persuasiveness, reliability, adaptability, and of course, sincerity. Sometimes, uh, we tend to give or, yeah, some that appreciation that um, hindi bukal sa loob natin. Pero alam nyo, pag hindi ka sincere, mararamdaman nyo ng ibang tao. So, we have to be sincere. Okay? All right. Next is, of course, your social traits. The S in your Pepsi is your social traits. So when we speak of your social traits, uh, it reflects the social upbringing of one's character, background, okay, with high society or lack thereof or lack thereof, and history with parenting, uh, siblings, friends, competitors, including our enemies. So, uh, social traits are the attitudes you have toward other people and their belongings. So, sabi niya dito, positive social traits leads to so uh, good relationship with or relationships with others, both, of course, in the personal and professional relationships. But, negative personal character traits can result in having a bad uh, reputation, being distrusted, or maybe being disliked. Okay, social traits. Now, what are the social traits required of a salesman? So, remember this, sabi nga dito, a salesman or salesperson should be aware of a magic smile. Okay, uh, wag naman yung missing aso. So, magic smile. You smile. Smile in a way na sincere. Um, what's this? Totoo yung ngiti mo. Diba? Uh, pag nakangiti ka, ibig sabihin, uh, kaaya-aya yung personality mo sa ibang tao. Pero make sure na yung ngiti mo ay totoo. Okay. Uh, another is, 
it's also important, you have to remember this, ang pangalan kasi ng tao, importanteng importante yun sa kanya. So, you can call your prospect by their name. Okay? Um, what else? Take a sincere interest in the prospect. Hindi yung iniisip mo paano ko kaya bentahan to. Wag naman ganon. You have to take a sincere interest in your prospect. Okay? Uh, sympathize with your prospect and their problems. You have to show sympathy. In other words, you put your shoes into theirs. Okay? Para maramdaman mo kung ano talaga yung nararamdaman ng prospect mo. Also, you have to show respect. And then, do not forget to uh, thank your prospect for their valuable time and, of course, their attention. Okay? All right. Finally, I in your Pepsi is your intellectual traits. I'm not saying that you have to be well-versed in everything okay because your brain is not encyclopedia but if you have a brain like an encyclopedia then very good however what i'm trying to say here is that you have to be mentally healthy okay hindi naman ibig sabihin noon na pag hindi ka mentally healthy ay baliw ka na hindi naman because sometimes when we speak of mental health uh it could be na Diba, if you are not mentally stable or mentally uh, sound, maybe you are depressed, something like that. What else? Um, you do, yeah, you are anxious about something, you feel uh, tensed, okay? But to be mentally healthy, meaning to say, um, you know, you are not depressed, you are stable in terms of your thinking, yan. Um, you need to have also analytic ability and problem-solving ability. Okay, it's important. Um, what else? Uh, kasi nga, di ba, as a salesperson or as a business person, we provide solution to their problems. How? By selling the products that would solve their problems. So, we need to have solving problem ability. What else? Uh, it is also imperative that we learn quickly. Okay. So, uh, one of the most important traits of a business person is to be able to learn quickly. If you know that you are somebody, um, actually, wala namang taong bobo, it's just that uh, our ability to learn is different. There are others who learn very, very fast, and there are others who learn, um, you know, a medyo, medyo mabagal yung pag-grasp nila or pag aral nila ng isang bagay. So, if you are somebody na ganun, then you strive, okay, to learn. Um... It would be helpful also if you write it down, isulat mo, and then aralin mo. Okay. It's also important to have, what? Originality, creativity, and of course, you need to be decisive. In the business, if you enter the business world, okay, and if you will become a manager of a business, or if you become a CEO, or if you become a business person, or business uh, a business man, business woman, okay, it's important that you are decisive. Okay, there you go. So, these are, of course, intellectual or mental quality traits or qualities or traits required of a salesman. So, intelligence is important. It pertains to what? Mental capacity to understand quickly. When you say kasi intelligence, hindi yung nagme-memorize ng mga lectures, mga lessons. Hindi po yon. It actually talks about your capacity to understand quickly. So, we, we learned, or I believe for the others who already took uh, PD, uh, we know that there are different types and kinds of intelligence, Okay. Hindi lang yung uh, mag, porke matalino ka sa klase, pero uh, hindi lang yon ang basehan ng intelligence, di ba? May kanya-kanyang basehan siya. Um, 
Intelligence, again, is the mental capacity to understand quickly. So, an intelligent salesman understands various business situations and various types of customers quickly and alter his presentations or presentation suitably. So, for example, if you're uh, presenting to a group of CEO, of course naman, your presentation should be something that would cater to the needs of CEOs. But if you're presenting to, let's say, for example, mga uh, magsasaka, ganon, mga, you know what I mean, di ba? So, dapat i-alter mo rin yung presentation mo na makuha yung attention nila, di ba? Pag highly intellectual yung presentation mo, Siyempre, yung iba, hindi nila magigets. Diba? So, you have to, what? Understand the situation, understand uh, your customers, and alter your presentations suitably. Uh, another is, you have to be resourceful. Resourcefulness uh, means that you have mental ability to think out alternatives. Yan. Kung halimbawa man, no, you are presenting your product at hindi nag-work yung PowerPoint presentation mo, then you have to be resourceful. Diba? Hindi lang naman sa PowerPoint presentation. Pwede rin naman i-demonstrate mo personally yung product mo. So, the ability of a, uh, a person to conceive new ideas or devise novel approaches uh, to do what he wants them to do. So, resourcefulness of a salesman helps him or her to think out every si uh, selling situation with a view to tackle uh, to tackling it successfully. Okay. Next is, it is also important that you have a good imagination. So, the power of visualizing things. So, a salesman or salesperson should have rich imagination. Okay. It enables the salesman to see the difficulties and problems of the prospects through their eyes and to devise the ways and means uh, to solving them. In short, it says here, good imagination helps salesmen to understand the minds of the prospects easily. And then this is also important. You need to have, um, you know, a good temperament or cool temperament. You should have a cool temperament. You should not lose your composure, okay, even if you are under pressure, okay, you must always remain calm. Okay, another is initiative. Okay. So, it means that you have the ability to think and decide for yourself without any guidance or prompting from anybody. So, in the initial stage, no doubt, a salesman has to work under the guidance and supervision of others. But in the course of time, he must develop the habit of thinking and deciding for himself. This initiative helps him to take quick and correct decisions. And then alertness is also important. Okay, you have to, what, be keenly alive to a sales situation and help uh, which would help you take a concrete step or steps to tackle any situation. Okay. And then this is also important. You have to be a keen observer. So a salesman must be a keen observer. A power of observation enables him to understand any situation, various kinds of people, products, and etc. Uh, if you do not have a sharp memory, like myself, kasi matanda na ako, charot, uh, you need to, what, write it down, diba? So, a salesman must have a sharp and retentive memory to help you retain um, information, to help you sharpen your memory, it's good to write it down. So, you, have, you must be able to also remember the faces. If you cannot remember the names, then you write it down. Remember faces, names of customers, products uh, that they usually use. Also, the features, the grades, the quality, the prices of the products that you are, you are selling. It will help you actually what? Impress your customers.